Snekins dragged in. I see we have a new trainer in town. Welcome to Pal Island. The name's Olive. I'm the lead researcher here on the expedition. What you say we get you kitted out and ready to work. Right then, I reckon first order of business is to start with the basics. First up, snagging yourself a pal. Try chucking one of those clingers at the bugger to snag them. You caught them! Nice work, trainer. See how she started following you about? A captured pal will try their best to tag along and help protect against any adversaries. You can have up to six of the critters at once. Go on, try and snag a few more. a good feeling about you. Let's get these little tackers back home. See that pal link button there on your screen? Use that to flick it open. That link's full of handy gizmos to help you on your journey. One of the most useful of which lets you teleport back home faster than a cat on a cluckin'. Try teleporting home now. Sweet home. Welcome to your very own slice of paradise. Here you can trick out your gear, collect materials, and, this is the best bit, build a whole zoo for all your new pals. First things first, we'll need to make a new home for one of your buddies. Wood, brick, and metal. That's what we need for this job. Shouldn't be too hard to find those bits and bobs lying about the island. Once you've got a good stash, choose the proper pen so your mates can move on in.
with a hammer. Top-notch work trainer. Just a bit more stumple grease, and you'll have those pals lining up at the door to move in. Speaking of which, I reckon it's time to give these little fellas a look at their new digs. Once their pen's all finished, find one of your pals markers and hit that button to send them over. Well, wouldn't you look at that? The little ripper looks happy as a howler. Righto, I think this spot'll do nicely. Now they're settled in, you can add them back to your party anytime with that button on their marker. And check this out. We've already learned loads about them. Have a look at your pal decks to see what we discovered. The island's chock-a-block with pals just waiting to be discovered. Gotta keep your eyes peeled. There's critters under every rock in this place. Now then, building a whole zoo yourself, that's no walk in the park, mate. Best we get over to the upgrade shop next door and give your materials a boost. Why don't you try buying an upgrade? those numbers whizzing down. That's your countdown to the next load of goodies. The more upgrades you buy, the quicker they turn up. You'll be knee-deep in resources before you know it, and you'll need them for finishing up that zoo. Of Course, upgrades aren't free, eh? You'll need some coins in that pocket. You can snag some by giving those pals a good tickle up and finishing some quests. Now, before we head back out there, let's wrangle up the rest of your crew. Flick open that PAL link and hit the regroup button to round them all up. Now that's a proper squad. Those PALs will do their best to keep up, bless them. But let's just say they're not exactly in a hurry. Keep that regroup button handy when they wander off. Anyway, who's ready to find some new PALs? Head back to the mainland through one of your island portals. The public one's a bit busier, but drops you back in the same place each time. The other takes you right back where you left off. Good for getting straight back in the action. All right, let's see what you got. Reckon you're up to wrangling a full party of pals? up and I'll be out of work before long. Can't nab any more pals with a full crew like this, so best to leave a few back at the zoo or set them loose using that dismiss button. Anyway, reckon you're about done with the training wheels. Now get out there and snag some more of the critters so we can keep learning. Word in the forest is there's a special pal out there, one that really knows what's going on round here. 
And something's telling me you'll be the one to track them down. All the best, trainer. Old Olive will be around if you ever need an extra hand or make any new discoveries.